Welcome back everyone to an AW Trading Cards uh, box break here. We're going to open up and see what the uh, new 2022-23 Hockey Series 1 Upper Deck is all about. Uh, it's home of the Young Guns, of course, since 1990. Uh, if you look at the back of the card here, it's showing one of the Young Guns in here. We're looking for, uh, was it Matt Bowie? Bully? But it should be interesting um, what you get in these packs. So that's one thing. I'm anxious to get into this video to see what these uh, young guns look like in person. I haven't yet seen one. I haven't opened any of the new packs of this year. This will be the first. But I wanted to share with you and, and open up this box of goodies and see what we get inside. And that's one thing here. I'm hoping that we get some decent inserts or rookies or anything along those lines i, I love seeing the uh, new product every year i know last year took a while to finally get into cracking series one because i know it was delayed coming out but this year hey why not let's take a look at it bright fresh out of the box packs of goodness here and we'll take a quick gander at some of these cards that come along in this set Hopefully, you guys like this video and uh, come back again and watch some more of these uh, wonderful videos of cracking stuff open and seeing what's inside. We do have some uh, new stuff going on in the near future as well. We are going to make some changes to some of the videos that we do. Um, we're going to show off some uh, cards that are out there on the market. Um, and that's for the cards that we have sitting around here in boxes. Um, I know we have a crap ton of Gretzky's that we want to show off to people. But anyways, that's coming on a different video. But if we look at these ones, um, this is the first look for me on these uh, Upper Deck Series 1. Um, and that sort of thing for 2022-2023. Um, actually, they look pretty, pretty nice. It's a little bit different. They don't have a huge line at the bottom down here. Uh, from previous sets, I know they've had a lot of, like, a, it takes away from the actual picture. Um, some of the uh, names that they've got on here is a little smaller for the names, but eh, it's still an upper deck product. It still looks actually pretty good. So we're just going to put the uh, commons off to the side here. We're going to quickly go through the, some of the commons just to see what, what they look like and that sort of thing. Um... In that sense, we're not going to stay too long on some of these. I do like the colors for the Kraken, but uh, we'll have to see. And same with these ones. Looks like we have our first insert. And we have an upper canvas card of uh, Brett Burns. Uh, it's not too bad. It's a decent looking card. It's a, it's a lot more compared to the 2020, 2015-16. Uh, it's a similar design but the it's a little bit more uh intense color wise so it's not too bad i I'm, I'm enjoying these cards so far so we'll have to see um just so you guys know that we will be posting these cards up on our ebay store in the near future uh, over the next couple of days more than likely we'll scan everything in get them online for you guys to uh pick up with your favorite players and that sort of thing uh first come per serve of course but uh, we have, uh, it'll be in the link below and that sort of thing for the uh, access to our online store. Looks like we have another canvas card. We have a Quinn Hughes here, canvas card. Not too shabby. Pretty reasonable, I think, anyway. But, uh, Kalmar, Kalmar, sorry. Oh, let's put the uh, insert off to the side here. Oh, we have a Taves on the back. Can anybody tell me, is Taves actually back playing? If anybody's listening in this sort of thing for the video. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't followed. Hey, there's one of our first Young Guns. It's actually pretty pretty decent, um, the way the, uh, the color is down at the bottom. Instead of just a solid color, at least it's uh, multicolored and that sort of thing for them. Uh, the back looks pretty plain, straight, direct to the point, but... 
it's not too bad. I do like what the front brings, um, at least where it says Young Guns. I'm like, the three different colors you've got down there are three different variations of colors, and that was not too bad. It's very similar to these designs. These are only solid colors, and that's sort really, of you know, not too bad. If somebody wants to tell me on who we're chasing this year, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't looked online for who the top guys are for the uh, Young Guns yet. Uh, maybe we'll do another video on that a little bit later. It doesn't look like we have any insert in this pack. Unless there's a French card in here. That's a question of all questions. Let's take a look on the back here. That looks English. That looks English. That looks in English. That looks French to me. So there's our insert there. It's a French card from... Uh, yeah. So there's the insert. Does say... Yeah. Uh, variant French... Um, okay. So we do have a French card on here, which is cool. Okay. Pretty neat, pretty neat, I think. Did I put them all upside down? No. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So we did get a French variation, which is cool. Looks like we have a foily type card in here, possibly. Yeah, it is actually. Ooh, look at that. I've never, uh, defense mechanism. That's kind of cool how it's, you've got the rainbow in the background with all the different, the same picture across the board, but the main picture of the guy is, uh, doesn't go anywhere, doesn't change, doesn't, that sort of thing. Just a very plain background, but the front of it, rainbows. It's not too bad. I like, I like, very much. There's no Vetchkin. How many more years do you th anybody think he's going to be playing? I don't know. Him and Crosby are getting up there in age. So I'm not sure exactly on how many more seasons those two are going to be uh, out there producing. Will they last as long as y Yager did in the NHL? Or will they finish off for the next two or three years? Frederick Anderson. So we have another, we have a black and white canvas of Braden Point. Pretty cool. So it's a black and white canvas or black canvas, whatever you call it. So there's one of the, there's the insert for this pack. Jason Robinson. That's pretty cool. So we've got three canvas cards, two regular and one black so far, and only one young gun so far. For those who are tallying up on what kind of inserts we've gotten out of this so far. There's another young gun. That's pretty cool. So a young gun, blue jacket, young gun, and that sort of thing. Uh, Brock Nelson. Next. We'll try and pick this up a little bit so the video doesn't go along too many hours and that sort of thing. I'm hoping to get the video under half an hour, but we'll have to speed things up if that's the case. So there's another one, Defense Mechanism for um, Blue Jackets. Is that uh, Worski? Wor was, uh, something, uh, this Cole Caulfield, the uh, rookie last year that was uh, pretty decent for his team in the last couple of years. I get the feeling because he's playing for Montreal, he's getting lost in the woodwork. If he was playing like in uh, Edmonton or playing for Toronto or something along those lines, he probably wouldn't be lost in the woodwork side of things. Okay, so here's a Superstars honor roll from Brady uh, Kachuk. It's not too, too bad. There's the insert for that pack. Let's move on to the next one. We're almost halfway done, so maybe the video will be about 30 minutes or so, maybe less. Jake Muzzin, too bad he's hurt for the he's out for the season. I think his career is done. There's another uh, there's a Philadelphia Flyers young gun. I'll take a look, keep that one off to the side here. 
Now, here's the question with... I'm a Toronto fan. I'm also a Pittsburgh fan and that sort of thing, but... For those who do watch hockey on a regular basis, do you think the goalies that Toronto picked up this year are going to be good enough to get them to even just into the playoffs? There's Connor McDavid looking up at something. I have no idea what he's looking at. Probably the scoreboard going, oh no, I lost. So that upper deck portraits of Mitch Marner, that's actually looking pretty decent this year. Gone by the wayside, the original, just a picture of a player. Now it's half the, like, basically above the waist picture instead, which is kind of cool. Okay. Next. So let's take a look here. Let's, oh, what do we got? Morgan Riley. Like I said, I'm a Toronto Maple Leaf fan. Okay, so we have another rainbow card here. Uh, center of attention. But it's the front of the card looks cool, but the back of the cards don't show anything other than... It, the front of the cards look really neat. With the rainbow side of things and that sort of thing. Okay, next. TJ Oshi. What do we got in here? We have another canvas card. I'm hoping that mo half the pile of inserts are not just canvas cards. But maybe they are. I don't know. You never know these days. Like, I find that uh, Series 2 and Extended have more insert variants than uh, Series 1 does. Series 1 is pretty, pretty bland when it comes to different... Like I said... Different inserts. There was another canvas card. I'd love to see more of the um, foil cards than piles and piles of canvas cards. Because canvas cards really don't go anywhere these days. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, these cards will be up on uh, eBay over the next couple of days. And the uh, link will be in our uh, description below. There's another young gun, Jacob Mouver. Mark Stone. Looks like he's doing a celebration. Oh, we got a checklist. Regular everyday checklist. What kind of insert do we got going on in this one? Uh, ooh, it's a Dazzlers. It's a blue Dazzlers. Ooh, look at that. Pretty cool. Little fireworks going on there. Well, we're getting down to the last... We're less than 10 packs to go here. And the video might hit 20 minutes. I uh, hope not, but we'll see. Next. Ooh, what do we got here? It's a red version of it. Is it numbered? Do we have a numbered version? No, we don't have a numbered version. Unless it's on the front somewhere. And I don't see it on the front anywhere. So they do have... Okay, I guess maybe it's the jersey colors that they're using for it. I don't know. I'm just... If you feel free to uh, comment below in regards to those. Remember, this is the first... First I've seen of this set. Uh, first I've opened this year. There'll be another one coming in the near future. But, uh, yeah, we're just uh, taking a look, sharing the information. So we have superstars and Austin Matthews. So it's an honor roll for Austin Matthews. Not too shabby. Being a Toronto Maple Leaf fan, I think that's pretty cool. Mitch Marner is regular card. If anybody knows out there on, you know how on these packs of cards, like Connor McDavid's on the picture of this one, how do they choose who gets to be on the cover of the upper deck packs? I'd love to know that information. 
there's a okay so we do have Matt Boldy um, young gun here yeah we're down to the last five packs here guys Victor Hedman. Oh, there we go. Up there, um, dry saddle. Um, okay, it's not too bad. Guess we haven't got any autographs or uh, any relic cards or anything along those lines as of yet. I'm kind of hoping there was be a like an East and Upper Deck exclusive in here, but it's not looking that way. Ooh, what's this? That's pretty cool. Um, rookie retrospective. They really overdid the um, the foil this year, like the rainbow foil in the background of the all most of the inserts, minus the um. I wonder if there's a French card in here as well. Nope. Just seemed to be an awful lot of cards in that pack. I thought might one might have been. A French variation as well, but it didn't look like it. Nope. That's not good for the cards to drop them. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see, we've got another. Ooh, what's this? Debut dates. Lightning versus Red Wings. Like I said, they overdid the uh, foil cards this year. Uh, Lucas Raymond debut date. Down to the last two packs. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. There'll be another one of these for the same series. I've got a, another box to open up another day. Uh, it'll be up shortly and uh, the cards will follow online as well. So yeah, they do go... That's pretty cool with a different color um, background of the card. So they do follow. Okay, now I understand. It's a rainbow version. There's a rainbow, I guess, is all of them are going to be rainbow and that sort of thing. So it doesn't make them anything special. Like I know with OPG Platinum, they have rainbow variations of the cards. And I think, don't get me wrong, maybe I'm. Mark up the wrong tree here, but I think they overdid the rainbows this year. But uh, there's another young gun. Bobby Brink. That's our last pack, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we did keep it under 30 minutes. Hey, what do you know? We actually kept it under 20 minutes. So, yeah, we did get a bunch of... Looks like we have... One insert per pack, uh, a bunch of young guns, um, the attention, debut dates, this rookie um, card here, uh, rookie retrospective, a couple of portraits. The portraits are actually pretty cool this year. Um, young guns, superstars, Austin Matthews, Dazzlers, uh, young guns. Started off a lot at the beginning with a bunch of canvas cards. So we did pull two upper, um, different things from, uh, okay, I don't even, I lost my train of thought. Sorry guys. But we do have a black and white uh, canvas card. I was kind of hoping for the young gun uh, canvas, but uh, can't win them all. But that's this video. In a nutshell, I now got to clean up my mess that I made. But this video is now complete. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And smash that like button and uh, feel free to uh, comment below or take a look at our uh, eBay uh, store. We have a... It's growing daily or weekly. Most Mostly every day we get something new put, uh, posted up on there. Anyways, we'll catch you on the next video. Uh, bye for now, guys.